Season 1, Episode 13, Drilling Minnesota for Northern Pike. Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Hookset Angling, and today I have a great episode for you guys. We're trolling Minnesota, um, and we have, we're using live bait, and just trolling through the weeds, in bays and shorelines, and we're just hooking up some northern pike. They're really fun to catch, they're actually pretty easy, after you get to know how to catch them, and they put up a nice fight. So we have RJ here with the blue sleeves and the carrot stick. And then there's RJ again, blue sleeves with the carrot stick. And there's four people on the boat, me, Luke, Ryan, and RJ. And that's usually our best outings when we're with them. And it's just so much fun. That's Luke has the orange carrot stick, so you'll see him with the orange carrot stick in the episode. And these fish are just, it's just a very rainy day, and the fish just get, a- the northern get active during the rain and the overcast, and then after the storm they just die out, because they're all spooked out. And then this is me with the carrot stick. We all, there's three black carrot sticks in a orange carrot stick so it's kind of confusing so and the fish die out after the storm goes by just because they're all spooked out and before the storm it's pretty crazy all the f- this day was just raining and cold and overcast from morning to after bef- after dinner and then after dinner it started to clear up and it was a nice day and th- all this footage is just from one day, morning to n- tonight, and we just did really good. So, northern are very, they're, they're very, they're not really smart. They they're considered the dumbest fish in the lake, and so they're basically blind. So you. It doesn't really matter which spinner you use or whichever color you're going to use if you're casting or trolling your spinner baits. So just keep that in mind because people do say it matters. It doesn't really matter. One might do better than the other because of it might be a little brother, but it really doesn't matter at all. So here's me, and this was just a funny fish because... I thought it would be big, but northern take you down into the weeds when you're fighting them in a weedy area. And it turned out to be a really small pike. So, never, you never know. As as long as the fish is running and it doesn't get heavier and heavier, it's probably a good fish. And then here's Luke fishing off the front of the boat. We're in one of our favorite bays, and it always produces well so it actually cleared up for a little bit here and we got we're hooked up with one and there's Ryan netting the fish and then Ryan's back on it again this trip was great this boating trip because we're all self-sufficient and we can just it's very easy to just catch the fish, net it, unhook it, put it back in, and then just keep, you can just keep, we just keep trolling while this is happening, so it's, you don't have to reset the path or anything, you can just keep going, so it's getting clear, as you can see the clouds are back there, and it's, those are some rain clouds, it was scattered showers about 80 degrees, and this is from the night, and it was very nice out, and we were just ready to fish. So that one was 29 inches, and then here's Ryan, and he hooked that one, and that one was about 26, and then this is RJ's, and that was 25. So thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe and check out our Instagram.